what's going on everybody hope you all doing well today and welcome back to another reaction for 86 here to watch episode 15 and after last episode i'm kind of hoping the emotions take a little bit of a break in this episode because my goodness was episode 14 a tearjerker from the happy moments to the sad moments at the end that episode really invoked a lot of emotion for me personally and i'm curious to see what we're going to get in this episode by the end of last episode eugene was no longer with us and Shin had to put him down before the Legion assimilated him into uh, their ranks. And then we saw that commanding officer actually tell Shin, you do not need to do this. Like, don't feel like you're obligated to do this. You know, you can leave. Meanwhile, Marcel is being, you know, an idiot about it. I guess that's the nicest way to put it. But then we have that really clean shot of Shin's face and him looking up or and then also... His uh, field dress, his mech looking up as well. And it's really symbolic because it's almost like, you know, this is where I'm meant to be. I'm meant to be on the battlefield. I'm one in the same with my mech. And at the same time, it's almost as if he's emotionless, just like his mech. He's swallowing all those emotions when he does the things that he does. Uh, he's the Grim Reaper, you know. So I'm very curious to see where we're going to go in episode 15. So I'm going to stop rambling. I'm going to stop giving you guys my thoughts and... We're going to go ahead and jump into the newest episode of 86. Three, two, one, go. Stellar year 2149, July 30th. And we're in the Giad Federacy. Okay. I wonder when we're going to see Lena again. I'm sure she's just doing stuff with her new, uh, her new squad. You know what I mean? Oh, damn. He didn't read those, dude. They're fine. They probably haven't seen each other in a little bit, right? Hmm. Who's that? The Legion? Were they talking about the Republic? I'm sure they're talking about the Legion, because the Republic probably don't even care that they escaped, you know? Or they probably care, but they probably think they're dead. Um, Again, like the Spearhead Squad that we've grown to love, they haven't seen each other for a little bit. Because he just said it's rare for you, uh, Shin just said to Raiden, it's uh, rare for you to come to the same base as me. And apparently they're all going to be together tomorrow. And that makes me wonder if that's because something's about to go down. You know what I mean? <laughs> There's Frederica. The final five remaining members of Spearhead, dude. They lost a lot of comrades along the way. People that we even grown to, grown to know as characters and enjoy as characters ended up getting killed in the process of the first part, you know? I like that image with all of them in battle yelling and it going through all all five of them. But I wonder what we're going to get in this episode. I wonder who that is because that's not Shin because Shin's right there. Is it possible that, that, that that's, that's uh, Kiri maybe? Maybe that's Kiri. And if it is, he had like a glowing blue eye, which makes me wonder if he has some kind of ability like how Shin and Frederica does, you know? Because they're drawing parallels between Kiri and Shin's brother, Ray. I wonder when we're going to see Lena again. I don't mind because I'm enjoying seeing the Federacy and all that, so. There's one of the commander guys. Oh, yeah, and somebody told me that she has the same voice actress as Rin from Face State Night, and I can kind of hear it. Is she the only woman in there? Hmm. <laughs> Damn, bro.
Your lost position? What position did you lose? Oh, that's right. She's like the one that's researching, developing these, right? She apparently lost her position at one point. And they view her as like a merchant of death. So that a lot of them don't like her, it seems like. Spider Woman. Lab weirdos. <laughs> yeah, they're like the R&D uh, team, it seems like. It's cool to see, like, what the other commanders think of her, you know what I mean? Thinking about what he had to do recently. Yeah, it is affecting him. As much as he wants to act like it doesn't affect him and he wants to hide his feelings from people. <laughs> Frederica. The bottom line is... He does feel something. He's a human, man. <laughs> uh, he's call calling out for Kiri, man. Hmm. They do look similar. If that is Kiri in the opening, him and Shin do look sort of similar. ha. <laughs> It's good that they're together again, though. That they're running into each other and stuff. Oh, wow. So, like, people are, set people are sending them stuff, taking pity on them. Hmm. I like this guy. Hmm. Yeah, right. Everything has to be documented, man. Look, they're all together. Having a little family dinner. Family uh, meal. <laughs> Who's a lady? Yeah, right, Theo? Hmm. There she is, Karina. Poor Karina. Nobody's even like paying attention to her. <laughs> you got to respect her, uh, her will. Yeah, she needs to stop doing that, though. <laughs> she didn't know. It has been, yep. <laughs> Karina. Yeah, look at everybody injured, man. Like, all the soldiers are injured. Some are losing, lost an eye. That's Marcel, isn't it? So Eugene was apparently an Alba, too, or like half Alba or something. And that's why Shin connected with him, because it reminded him of Lena, but also reminded him of his brother, because he had glasses like his brother. Somebody else pointed that out in the comment. I thought it made a lot of sense. There she is, the spider woman. Spider -woman. All 
I wonder if she truly cares about any of them. Who are the other two people in the room? R&D people? Well, they're still juggernauts. No, they're still juggernauts. <laughs> you just copied their design. <laughs> Riding. Yep, she didn't know that, huh? Wow, she never knew that. Okay. Right, which is why they're able to... Right, they had no choice. They work for him and them, but not for nobody else. <laughs> Oh, okay. I'm glad that she said that, that she's actually opposed to it. Because they were all making her seem like she's a merchant of death and everything. So she was sent to war, too. Which is why she's trying to make something faster. Interesting. So that's why she does what she does. So she's not as bad as they were trying to make her out to be. Hmm. <laughs> Look at Theo falling asleep. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> Karina don't remember, bro. All right, so they're not answering some of them. Of course, the Republic's not. I guess that's a mechanic, and that's like a, a lab guy. A large-scale attack, dude. Is that going to happen this episode or next episode? A lot of prep. I feel like it's going to happen next episode. Dude. Who's going to pile in the Regan leaf, so? Yeah, but they know stuff that the Federacy don't know about the Legion, man. No, but he can hear the voices of the Legion, though. Mm, yeah, they do. Okay. Okay. But you should still listen to him, because he knows what he's talking about. Dude, how ominous, bro. Welcome back. I hope she's not sending, like, inexperienced people out in those aluminum coffins. Because they have the experience to pilot them. No other processor does, really. Which only means that their numbers are gonna... Their, num their casualties are gonna go up. I mean, people are going to die regardless. It's a war. They're, they're fighting a legion, but...
Oh. Uh, gotcha. Of course it was. He was doing this for his sister. That's no way that's no way to live, Shin. I agree with her there. Yeah. <laughs> He's also just looking out for her, though, you know? Can we learn more about Kiri, please? Because if that is him in the opening, then, yeah, you do look pretty alike. Very similar. Ooh. He has photos of him. Kiri and Nozin. So they are both from the Nosen clan. But he wasn't a direct descendant? Okay. I wonder if he had that ability, like how Shin has that ability. And that's why she became attached to him. Hmm. <laughs> These are all things that he taught her. Hmm. They obviously... Why did he become Legion? He was protecting her. Okay. Who was that third person she was drawing? Finn? Okay. The Legion turned against them. against the rebelling people. He heard anybody that touches her, I'll kill them. So he did kill many of them. No longer knew who he was, man. I wonder if that has something to do with the ability. Damn, if Ernst wasn't there, she might have... Oh, so he cut... And he lost his mind. Well, he already lost his mind, but he probably went crazier. Damn, and he's fucking goadering this. So if it wasn't for Ernst, dude, he would be dead right now. Yeah, I bet your among them, too. Yeah. He, he wants to be there. Don't fight. She doesn't want to lose anybody else.
Right. He's already he's already gone, you know. Of course not. Lena, right? It was Lena, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Is she blowing on the coffee? Giving a little good coffee like that probably ain't smart, but you know. <laughs> she fell asleep regardless. As the old me. We really needed to hear about Kiri from her. That was really good scene, dude. So Raiden told him to keep it a secret, so none of them know about that yet. <laughs> yeah, well, they're still biased to, you know... Huh. Exactly. Right, if they found out he had that ability, they'd probably do some R and D on him, you know. And that's the biggest question, because that's what that that's what matters. That's what you should be fighting for, is for the future. <laughs> yeah, the power raid. She would call in around this time. Because they made a connection with Lena. Keep showing that crow, man. This, dude, the symbolism is on point. And there it is. Though, to be honest, symbolism has always been on point in 86, right? There's always been so much symbolism in this series. So, I feel like the crow... Is a representative of like of the fucking forces that are coming because what's a a a big group of crows is called a murder of birds or murder of crows, and I feel like that's representative of the amount of the legion that's coming. You know what I mean? Plus, it's kind of an ominous symbol to begin with a crow, you know, a black bird. What an episode, though. Getting to learn about Kiri, more about Kiri, and find out that he is part of the same clan as Shin. They have the same surname, which is Nozin. Of course, he's a distant relative, apparently. He wasn't a direct descendant of the clan. I wonder if that would have any kind of role in him having the ability or not. The same ability that Shin and, and Rei had, you know what I mean? And if that is him in the opening with the glowing blue eye, then he probably does have, like, a power of some kind. Ooh, there's Lena. So this is a special kind of uh, ending, I guess, right? I don't think this is the same ending. There's the chocolate. Who's she writing that letter to? Even so. I wonder. That's a, that's a new ending, isn't it? That's not the same ending that we always we always get, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Um, 
What an episode, man. Like I said, we really needed to learn more about Kiri from um from Frederica. We got to learn about their relationship, what happened to Kiri, what happened after the uh Empire fell and the people were rebelling, how he protected her and slowly lost his mind in that fortress. Then Ernst came and Ernst being there was able to keep Frederica safe. However, Kiri ended up being killed by the Legion and assimilated, and more than likely is a shepherd. I mean, I highly doubt he's just, uh, you know, a sheep. He's more than likely one of the shepherds, like how Ray was. Kiri sounded like he was a good dude, you know what I mean? Uh, and finding out that he ha he's from the same clan is very interesting. Like I said, I would like to know if he actually had the same ability that Shin had. And if he does, I don't know, like, would that play some kind of role as him being a Legion, you know? Also learning about the uh about the spider woman, about her days as a soldier and how she lost a lot of her comrades, and that's why she wants a faster uh field dress, which is what the mechs are called. Learning getting a little bit of characterization for her was good because she's not a bad person. Like they keep calling her a merchant of death, and we got to see what the other commanders think of her, but she's not a bad person. She's even against sending children to the to the battlefield, and the reason why she's doing this R and D is because he feels like a faster, a more nimble field dress mech would be able to keep more people alive. But what she wasn't aware of is that those things are highly unsafe and they're really just aluminum coffins. Like just everything about the episode was on point, even though it was so heavy in the exposition part, it still was good because it's giving us and this is how 86 is. 86 is always like this. And I feel like that's why why some people don't watch it, because it's not just constant mech battles. But there's prep and everything. And there's also like glimpses into the characters through the dialogue. I just, I love shows like this. But next episode seems like we might be moving into this big assault that the Legion is going to be doing. Are we going to see Kiri in Legion form? It just what is going to happen, you know what I mean? And when are we going to see Lena again? Because I feel like this ending credits that we just, we just got, I feel like these were completely new. Like it was for this episode. I could be wrong, but I feel like it was because we saw the crow a few times, then we saw the crow at the end of it, and then it going into, like, Lena writing uh, writing a letter or something. It'd be very interesting to see where Lena is in the current time. But guys, what are your thoughts on 86 episode 15? Let me know in the comments below. Remember to smash that like button, it's completely free and I greatly appreciate it. And as always, guys, thanks for watching, I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you very soon for another video.